Hi, good afternoon guys. Today what we're going to do is review a case of rheumatic myelin stenosis and uh, you'll see how 3D is different from 2D in assessment of a rheumatic mitral valve. So uh, this is a four chamber view, mid-esophageal four chamber view where you can see the left atrium, left ventricle, the right atrium, the right ventricle and you can see the stenosed mitral valve where you can see a fixed posterior mitral leaflet and a thickened and very restricted anterior mitral leaflet with an enlarged left atrium with a, some degrees of sec, otherwise called spontaneous echo contrast, or also known as smoke. So let's put color on that. And you can see the, the severe aliasing, which is in the mitral inflow under color flow Doppler, which actually tells you the patient has significant mitral stenosis. Now you want to quantify the exact degree of mitral stenosis. So one of the ways of doing it is to use a pressure half-time method. So you put a continuous whip Doppler on the mitral valve and you freeze the Doppler profile. Over here, what you get using the pressure half-time slope, the patient has a mitral valve area of 0.8, which is a severe mitral stenosis. Now, if you actually measure the, the profile, you see the mean gradient is around 7 millimeter mercury, which makes it moderate. But it is very difficult to stamp that uh, 7 millimeter mercury uh, gradient to just moderate and not severe because the patient is in AF and there's the envelopes are variable. So if you want to confirm, I think the best way of doing it is to use a 3D unfaced view of the mitral valve. So we got a 3D unfaced view and we measure the mitral valve area, which is, you can see over here, it's around 0.7 centimeter square. So a better view. So this is a 3D zoom of the uh, rheumatic stenosed mitral valve uh, from the surgical, uh, you know, view, also called the unfaced view. And uh, one more time, attempting to measure, the area is 0.57, which is around 0.6. So it is a severely stenosed uh, mitral valve where the mitral valve area is between 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. So let's go forward. And uh, we are doing a comprehensive Transfusional echo, where this is a RV inflow outflow view, or maybe a modified uh, aortic valve short axis. The purpose over here is to check the tricuspid valve, and you can see a, only a mild tricuspid regurgitation jet over here. And you can measure the Doppler profile of the TR jet, and you can see the max uh, gradient across the uh, tricuspid is around 24. And in absence of any problem or the pulmonic valve, this corresponds to a, a, a mild or a normal to mild, uh, you know, mildly raised pulmonary pressures. So this is 18 over here. So this is almost normal. So the right heart is fairly okay in this case. Uh, there's no significant pulmonary hypertension. And again, we get getting back to the mitral. This is a two-chamber view of the mitral. You can see the classic. Uh, diastolic, you know, <clears throat> the hockey-shaped uh, anterior mitral leaflet. It does not open totally and uh, giving uh, rise to that uh, uh, the shape of a 
hockey-stick in diastole, which is classical of rheumatic myelin stenosis. The PML over here is fixed. The AML is looking like a hockey-stick in diastole uh, with an enlarged left atrium and spontaneous contrast. We check the LA appendage. There is smoke, but there is no clot, per se. And we move forward to look if we can see the left atrial appendage from the unfazed view. So over in this view, we cannot see the left atrial appendage, but if you can modify and sort of, sort of turn your view, you can clearly see this is the mitral valve, and this is the left atrial appendage opening, and clearly there's nothing. It's, it's, uh, there's no clot. It's a clean left, left atrial appendage. Again, uh, well, we have confirmed on 2D. Now on 3D. So, you can see the left atrial appendage which is clean, no issues with that. So, we move forward and again, one more view, you can see the stenosis mitral valve, you can see the extent of the commissural fusion and uh, it's almost like a fish mouth. Uh, over here, you get a focus view to just to have a good view of the stenosis mitral valve with uh, commissural fusion and uh, now we're going to proceed towards, uh, you know, assessment of the valve after the replacement. So this is the first view after the patient comes off bypass. And can you make out what this is, this mosaic pattern and there's this beautiful grainy texture on the unfazed view. This is actually air inside the left atrium and more of it. So you cannot see the, the mechanical valve right as of now because uh, the air bubbles hide the the valve which is beneath so slowly as the you know surgeon uh, removes the air by shaking the heart and and counter ventilation as well so at the, at one point of time the air you know gets clear and this is what you see slowly the air gets cleared and you can see the valve uh, there and a little more day airing you can see the valve gets clearer Eventually, what you see over here is this picture. Two semicircular leaflets, and uh, so th these are the two major orifice areas. And in between the two, the you know the parallel zone, which is smaller, is a minor orifice area. And this is the swing cuff, and you can see the sutures very nicely uh, over there on the valve. And this is the floor of the left atrium. And this is the unfazed view or the surgical view as the surgeon sees uh, while putting the valve in. This is a beautiful picture of the, uh, the mechanical bileaflet mitral valve in position working optimally. So one more time. You can actually play with it and you can actually look from the ventricular aspect as well, right? You can see the two leaflets opening from the ventricular aspect and you can actually change the view according to your wish and you can see the two leaflets, right? Now, let's put color onto that just to see if there's any leak around the, around the valve. Uh, so there's no paravalvular leak. You see this is a swing ring and all the flow is inside. Uh, and there's no leak outside the paravalvular uh, or the outside the valve ring. So basically, you can actually uh, for sure say that this patient does not have any paravalvular leak. And uh, a corresponding commissural view, 2D with color flow Doppler. You can see the normal washing jets, and uh, you can see the almost blue laminar mitral inflow without any significant uh, you know, turbulence, basically telling that the gradient across the valve will be okay. Just to quantify how much uh, the mean gradient is, so you can use uh, continuous of Doppler, and you can measure the gradient of uh, you know, the, the mean gradient across the prosthetic mitral valve, which in this particular case is two millimeter of mercury, which is normal. Anything less than five should be okay. And you can see the white, you know, opening and uh, another white 
two parallel lines opening and closing snap of the uh, bileflet mitral valve and one more good view you can see beautifully seen the two leaflets opening and closing right so we can actually say that uh, this patient uh, had a rheumatic mitral stenosis and had received a uh, bileflet mechanical valve and uh, with our assessment using 2D as well as 3D this patient has a normally function, functioning bileflet mechanical valve without any complications thank you